and we set up our burlap, we broke a few branches off to kind of break up our outlines and set up to wait until darkness. After six hours of setting up at this new spot, we had not seen a thing. We thought, hey, no big deal. We've already had a great hunt. If we don't see a bear, we, you know, we were already thinking about the next day. I'm half asleep. I'm starting to doze off a little bit. Mike taps me, so I wake up, and I'm like, oh my gosh, if he's tapping me, that can mean one thing. There's a bear, and it's got to be close. This bear appears out of nowhere, and it's right on top of us. The first thing I realize is that it's huge. The second thing, it's a blonde. Dude, that was a huge blonde bear. That was a huge blonde bear. Dude, I smoked him. <sighs> what, at eight yards? Look at that bear. That is just a beautiful, beautiful blonde phase black bear. And it went down right now. I mean, that was just unbelievable. The bear went 40 yards and just dropped. This bear's got some real pretty blonde claws, and that to me is just, uh, that's neat. This has just been an incredible trip, not only because of the bears and the, the way everything went down, the action, uh, but for me just, uh, you know, just a great trip because of the quick clean kills. Um, you know, as bow hunters, that's always what we're what we strive for, and uh, that's what this trip's uh, that's what this trip's been for me. You know, two good, quick, clean kills, and that's that's awesome. Look at that bear.